the classic map coloring program uh, problem, where how many? What's the minimum number of colors you would use to color oh, so in a map, the colors map and have no? Like if you're looking at a map of the United States, we can picture that yeah. the 48 um, contiguous states. What's the fewest number of colors I could use to color in each state in a different color so that any state is not touching a state that has the same color? Instead of using colors, what we use is body positions. And so everybody has to be in a different posture than anyone in their neighboring region. There's some complication. Pick the region so we know how many we need. Yeah, come find your spot, come guys. Come find a region. Do I need more regions? Still have that one small line. Yeah. If I want to get back <coughs> to the same one, I don't think it's doable. Now, what if you added a line from where your foot is to the point straight ahead of you? This one. You're still good. No, you haven't yet. But then, okay, but I'm done now, but I'm ending a different place. You still traveled all lines. Where's the start? Where would you like to start? <laughs> Here's a real advanced one. Let's see. Okay, we started at the one. And we went through here to... Two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven makes you. Turn back. There. Yeah, real big and advanced. There's another one. I thought it'd be a lot more difficult. Some of these are a little complicated. Uh, at first, this wasn't a yes, but now with an added line, it's a yes. So now we have the two <laughs> versions over here, the yes and the no. Yes. Mm -hmm. So no was the figure they started with, and then adding a line made it travelable. Um, I like the way this one, um, they showed their different trails as they were trying to solve it, because sometimes it's hard to keep track of where you've been. 